Welcome to Macromolecules Online. Today's video is about a very important protein by the name of collagen. There are many places where this protein is found. They can be found in our skin, ligaments, tendons, bones and cartilage. Without collagen humans wouldn't exist. Did you know that collagen is one quarter of our total body protein? The actual protein was first noticed by the Greeks who gave collagen its name. They initially used it for joining things together by boiling it in water, which made a sticky liquid known today as glue. The structure of collagen was actually discovered by an Indian scientist by the name of G.N. Ramachandran. He discovered that collagen had a triple helix structure using a process called X-ray diffraction. This discovery took place in 1954. Collagen has a triple helix structure, it having three helixes which combine together to form a super helix. Here is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. This is a quaternary structure stabilized by lots of hydrogen bonds. Each of the three tertiary structures are completely identical chains. This is the sequence in each chain. Proline, hydroxyproline, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, glycine, isoleucine, and so on. This is a unique sequence for collagen. The yellow lines indicate where the secondary structure curls itself into a helix. As you can see there are a lot of glycines. Collagen is one of the few rare proteins which have a lot of glycines. Hydroxyproline differs from prolines by having an extra hydroxide attached to a carbon. Did you know that collagen reduces the amount of abnormal molecular structures in your body? These structures can cause joint pains and stiffness. Now you know. There are many functions of collagen in the body. From holding bones and muscles together, to being flexible and part of the skin, collagen can do it all. Collagen is also in the heart, and it helps with the pumping of blood, by making sure the cardiovascular muscles stay intact by holding them together. This protein is used for this job because of its strength and flexibility. As you can see in the picture the white part of the muscle in the foot, is known as a tendon. This tendon joins the bone in the foot to the calves muscle. The tendons are everywhere in the body connecting muscle to the bones. How collagen relates to this can be shown in this picture. Because tendons need flexibility and strength the most logical solution is, yes again, collagen. A tendon is just tons of collagen strands put together. For many years, scientists were trying to figure out how to make synthetic collagen. This was only accomplished a few years ago when Ronald Reigns and his team discovered how to create collagen, artificially. Reigns' team found that to make collagen, they had to make the ends of the pieces match each other perfectly. They then modified the ends of the pieces. When they did, they got a stronger, and a longer collagen, than the one produced naturally. An analogy to this is a socket, and a plug. They fit each other perfectly. Did you know that collagen in your body decreases at a rate of 1.5% per year after the age of 25? Now you know. These days collagen is used in many foods around the world. It is used in Rice Krispies squares, marshmallows, gummy candy, and gelatin desserts. Glue is another use for it in the industry. It is made from either animal, or as seen in front of you, a fish. But one of its major practical uses is in cosmetics. Collagen can be used to supposedly prevent wrinkles, by applying it on your face with a collagen mask. But it does not work like that. The skin will not allow the collagen to penetrate through, because the skin is a lipid, and collagen is polar. They will always repel each other. Since, applying it on the face won't work, to prevent wrinkles you have to have a good diet that provides the right amino acids to increase collagen in your body. And finally, for people who have endured burns. Collagen can be used to speed up the healing process, or cover it up temporarily. 
This brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and tune into our future programs. We create great videos on proteins, lipids, carbs and nucleic acids. See you next time on Macromolecules Online.